on to Canada now. The country is witnessing acres of land going up in ashes as I speak. Authorities are struggling to contain the wildfires across the country. Over 400 fires have burned down nearly 9.8 million acres of forest land. The smoke has now spilled over to the U.S. Millions have been forced to stay indoors. People are wearing masks to protect themselves from the toxic smoke. Our next report getting you all the details. The sun getting blocked by heavy smoke. The skyline with a massive cloud of haze. People going about their daily routine with close to zero visibility. This is the life of Canadians right now, threatened by low air quality and wildfires. Now I have been, uh, you know, coming out on a walk daily in the morning, right? And I have kind of observed that as far as the air quality is concerned, uh, somehow it feels that it's not as good as it was. Canada is fighting an extraordinary battle against wildfires. Blazes have scorched nearly 9.8 million acres of forest cover. This is 10 times the acreage that wildfires burned last year. The nation has had to stretch its firefighting resources. Why? You see, firefighting is managed by a provincial level in Canada. This made coordination difficult. But do you know what is more difficult to contain? The aftermath of the fires, the land getting burned, the smoke. Massive clouds of smoke darkened the skies of Canada and the US. It is not safe for people to walk outside. This is how bad the situation is. I want to recognize the air quality statements that have been issued by Environment Canada because of wildfire smoke. People across the country are being affected. We're seeing vulnerable people at risk, outdoor events cancelled, kids having to be kept inside at recess. And now, Americans are choking on the wildfire smoke. This New York City, blanketed in a science fiction like orange cover. Schools have been closed, Broadway shows cancelled, and even flight schedules have been impacted. You should remain inside and if you must go outdoors, wear high-quality masks such as a K95. Our students are in school today, but the chancellor has canceled all uh, outside uh, events as an abundance of caution. New York continues to have the worst air quality among many major cities. It even surpassed India's capital one of the most polluted cities in the world. Experts say that the air quality will remain at the very unhealthy level. The heavy haze has also reduced the visibility. A reduced visibility of less than a mile. The toxic smoke has also led to citizens wearing masks. I'm wearing my mask mainly because I'm worried about the air quality. I'm worried about breathing in the particles. You know, it's, it's not healthy. How does wildfire smoke impact humans? You see, our body is vulnerable to air particles smaller than 2.5 micrometers. Such particles can easily enter our lungs. Although the US has observed a reduction in particulate matter lesser than 2.5, the wildfire smoke has started changing the dynamic. The smoke can easily cause an inflammation and toxic buildup in the lungs. Experts suggest buying air purifiers and wearing masks to be safe. New York authorities have also urged citizens to do the same. To protect people, we believe that the N95 mask is an important way that people can protect, uh, stop the air particles from getting into their lungs. That is why I'm announcing we are making available 1 million N95 masks that we made available at state facilities. So is it normal for Canada to witness wildfires? Yes. Canada's wildfire season goes on from May through October. But such destruction in early stages of the season is rare. Climate change seems to have caused extreme temperatures. The warm and dry conditions resulted in the wildfires. Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba, where fires now rage, were particularly hit hard by droughts. 
The Canadian Wildland Fire Information System says that the wildfire season has been 13 times worse than the 10-year average. Bureau Report, we on World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.